Eh, qué rollo, quiero mandar un saludo a mi amigo Goodfella, de parte de tu amigo Jaime Munguía. Un abrazo, carnal. Ánimo. All right, man, so Oscar Valdez will be taking on the mayor Navarrete, I believe. Navarrete holds the WBO belt. Yeah, he holds the Super WBO, uh, Super Featherweight WBO title. Um, Valdez getting back in the ring. Uh, Navarrete hadn't looked so good, but he just so much, he's just a bigger guy in, in this fight. Uh, he like 5'7", 72 inch arms. Um, guy that blew up a lot between fights, had a lot of inactivity. Um, they fight in Glendale, Arizona, I believe. Valdez from down there, somewhere in Arizona. So they in his kind of backyard or whatever. But let's talk about the fight. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. So I got my beard picking on where I can. But uh, good fight. Uh, shorter deliver. Valdez can punch. Little shop worn. Um, now Rade kind of his 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 arrow been pointing in the down the downtrend direction. Um, has some promotional issues. I mean, had a controversial fight with Liam Wilson. Um, you know, very awkward fighter. Um, you know, was fought in February, so then he back March, April, May, June, July, August. Six months later. In today's day and age, that's a quick turnaround. I think Valdez just fought on the Secure Stevenson. You know, it was some card. He just fought on was a Devin Haney card or something like that. He just fought on. So, um, it's pretty much going to be Valdez, you know, trying to capitalize on Navarrete mistakes. It's going to boil down to can Navarrete take Valdez shots? And if he can't take shot Valdez power, then can Valdez take his power? And if, if it come down to a fight of attrition, uh, we know Valdez then fought with a broken jaw, I believe. We know Navarrete and got off the floor. It's just a really a pick em fight, to be honest. Um, I think Valdez has fought the better competition, quite frankly. Uh, obviously, a fight, you know, eventually, you know, for the winner, somewhere down the line, to keep winning. A fight with a new way might be, you know, or. On deck for both, on deck for one of them, whoever win this fight. And really, you looking at the landscape of the division, ain't much out there. Oh, Shocky Foster. Um, I think uh, Louis Hector Luis Garcia. He supposed to be fighting Lamont Roach, and then I don't even know who the other champion is. So I know Hector got the WBA. Oh, Osh Shocky got the uh, uh, got the WBC. And I know Navarrete got the WBO. So I don't even know who the WB. Uh, the IBF, but you know, I just see this fight, you know, being a war. I mean, I, th I think it's on regular ESPN. You hope something like this would be on regular ESPN if about is, you know, can he can he can he capitalize off Navarrete mistakes? That's what it boiled down to. We seen Navarrete get hurt. We seen him on the canvas, but kind of remind you of uh, Terence Crawford a little bit. When he get touched, he get he get hurt, or he get touched, he just he mean. He like to get you back, so he like to go into war. He real awkward fighter, um, you know. He gonna throw a lot of punches without you know trying to be defensive responsible. He do things awkward. Valdez is the more polished fighter, you know. Throw good body shots, you know. You know, got good athleticism, but he been through the ringer. He definitely he definitely the more you know shop worn fighter, no doubt about it. You know, broken jaws, tough fights. You know, with guys like who, who was the guy he fought? Scott Quigg blew off, blew off the weight, then broke his jaw. You know, he he been through some tumultuous stuff. He got abused uh, by Shakir Stevenson. That wasn't a physical abuse; it was more mental abuse. You know, it's kind of they drug him to the ring in that fight. I mean, then again, he had the 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 the, the positive drug test, and he still got the fight. So. You know, he mentally and physically tested. I think physically he a little shopping worn for sure. Navarrete, you know, he came on the scene beating Isaac Dog Bay, um, whooping his ass twice. I mean, a, a straight beating, you know. And, it, and lately, you know, it's kind of like they, you know, he had a, I think he fought Joey Gonzalez, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, he ain't been able to get that, that big name in the ring. And this is going to be his moment to kind of validate him to the world that, uh, that that he can do it but you know like i said before i think it might end, i think it might this might be fight of the year candidate 
right now the fight of the year is easily better be and uh anthony yard but uh better be won't be coming back till january 13th he had some uh infected tooth so so that fight got pushed all the way back to january so you're talking about october november december so about five months so it was always a treat to see him come back. I think he's supposed to come back the 12th or something like that. So, you know, football season coming, this this quote-unquote. And boxing been, thanks to PBC, boxing been hot all year. I mean, top rank did his thing. Only person they ain't pulling their weight is the zone. You know? But, you know, uh, but, you know, this is this, this one of them, them fights that uh, you don't want to miss on Saturday. I will say that this is this is gonna be fight of the year. Two Mexicans in the West Coast. I'm thinking about still going out there. I ain't looked at tickets yet. I wanted to cover the fight. I didn't get in, but they say it was a lot of high demand to get into that fight. So I don't I don't have a relationship with Top Rank. I don't have that relationship. So um, it is what it is. But yeah, this that's that's gonna be a barn burner. So somebody gonna two somebody gonna get some, both of them might get seriously hurt. But I think it might be a knockout in this fight. But uh, Valdez be on some gangster shit. And Renavarade be on some gangster shit. I ain't know what the card look like. I'm pretty sure some good guys on the card. But uh, I, 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 this can go either way, to be honest. I know a lot of people are saying they're going to pick Valdez for the knockout because he's a more polished fighter. But the size different is scary in this fight. But the problem with Navarrete, he not going to use his height and reach. Like Shakira Stevenson did, get back on defense, control di distance. No, nah, you know, he going to use his physical size. He's going to come in a bigger man between him and Oscar Valdez. He's going to come in a bigger man. So Valdez is going to have to catch, shoot, counter. And Valdez can't just work, worry about countering with one shot. Because when Alvarado get hit, he come with two or three. So you counter with one shot and then you, you ball up or you shell up and you look and defend. Valdez kind of got to do what Crawford be doing. You got to follow up with, with two or three shots when you fight Navarrete. His shots going to come looping. So your counters got to be short or straight. Your, your counters got to be short or straight. Short hooks going to be this lo looping hooks. You got the, I think he got the shorter arms, 66, 72 inch reach. I think some body work in there for a guy in Navarrete who put on a lot of weight in between fights. He's a really big guy. I think counters to the body. I think, you know, multiple counters to the head, more combination counters to the head. Walking them into shots, I think, just not necessarily running, just walking them around that ring. I think that's what Valdez got to do. Let him let him exert his energy. You work, you let him create the offense and the defensive openings, and you capitalize on that. And Navarrete, I mean, ain't no point in giving him no advice. He's going to do what he's going to do. He gonna come out there looking to hurt Oscar Valdez, you know. He gonna look to be a buzzsaw, you know. But if he can learn some defensive responsibility, that that uh, that help him out a lot. But everybody gonna look at his last performance was versus Liam Wilson and say, well, Valdez got this, and and I can you can easily turn around and say, well, that's gonna be the case, you know. I'm a I'm a fan of both. Um, didn't like the whole thing with the drug test, how that went down with Valdez. I will say that. Because then you come, well, you know, you, you like a drug cheater or whatever. I'm, I'm saying I didn't like the way it went down. So uh, I'm saying that right now. But in my humble opinion, this this literally is a pick and fight. This is literally a pick and fight. And... My head is saying Valdez, but my intuition, and ain't no woman's intuition either. That should be accurate as hell, like 70% of the time. But my intuition and my heart is saying Navarrete. So you know what? I'm going to take Navarrete. I'm going to take Navarrete. Mm-mm. I'm going to take Navarrete in the fight of the year candidate. I'm going to take him by split decision. Ooh, it's going to be tough getting a decision down in Arizona, too, for him. 
It's going to be tough. I'm going to take him by knockout. I'm going to take him by knockout in the 12th round. I'm going to take Navarrete by knockout in the 12th round. I said again, I'm going to take Navarrete by knockout in the 12th round. Don't go bet your house on it. It's just my opinion on it. I ain't do no film work, but I seen him fight a bunch of times. So I'm going to take Emmanuel Navarrete, 12th round knockout. I got a feeling he active. Um, he know Oscar Valdez is dangerous. Valdez know he dangerous. Um, I think Valdez did fight Adam Lopez on uh, was the Haney undercard. Um, so, you know, they both have been recently fought, you know, especially by today's standards. So, yeah, I got Navarrete and fight of the year candidate, 12th round knockout of Valdez. It's going to be hard to get a decision. So if you go with Navarrete, it's got to be a knockout or some type of split decision, majority decision. Shit, a draw might be in play here, to be honest. This fight got to make it for a draw. But, uh, yeah, I got Navarrete, you know, Navarrete split. This, uh, I got Navarrete 12th round knockout. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notification. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Hit the link tree. It's the first link in the description. You can find me everywhere from Kick, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Peace.